हेलो एंड वेलकम लेट्स टॉक अबाउट डायबिटिक अल्सर और डायबिटिक फुट अल्सर सो इंट्रोडक्शन द इंसिडेंस ऑफ फूड कॉम्प्लिकेशंस एमंग पेशेंट्स विथ डायबिटीज इज वन टू टू परसेंट पर ईयर व्हिच इज ड्यू टू द कंबाइंड इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ वैस्कुलर इनसफिशिएंसी मैकेनिकल डिस्ट्रप्शन पेरिफेरल एंड ऑटोनोमिक न्यूरोपैथी इम्यून डिफेक्ट्स एंड इम्पेयर टिश्यू हिलिंग कॉमन साइट्स the ulceration of the calcaneum and bones of the fair foot especially the great toe and first metatarsal head is common causes the causes are arterial disease like atherosclerosis microvascular disease are susceptible to infection due to excess glucose in tissue decreased neutrophilic phagocytic activity decreased chemotaxis and other causes includes neuropathic changes Uh, like in case of motor paralysis of spinal muscles of foot in case of sensory alter sensation and in case of autonomic dry foot presentation there is history of uncontrolled diabetes mellitus there is pain in the foot there is ulceration absence of sensation absence of pulsation in the foot usually in the posterior tibial and dorsal lis pedis arteries there is loss of joint movements excess formation change in temperature and color when gangrene sets in patient may succumb to histoacidosis septicemia or myocardial infarction investigations the blood for sugar both fasting and random urine for ketone bodies blood urea and serum creatinine discharge for culture and sensitivity x ray of the foot to see any bony change x ray of the chest to see any cardiac abnormality ecg to see cardiac abnormalities lipid profile for hyperlipidemia doppler study of lower limb to see level of vascular obstruction angiogram to look for proximal blockage and glycosylated hemoglobin estimation can be done now treatment of diabetic ulcer first of all the control of diabetes mellitus using insulin should be done antibiotics may be given drugs like vasodilators pentoxyphylin dipyridamol low dose aspirin can be given diet control control of obesity nutritional supplements regular cleaning debridement and dressing can be done and callous skin can be removed and once uh, granulation occurs the ulcer is covered with skin graft or flap amputations of the gangrenous area can be done and the vascular compromise should be considered uh, with the proximal angioplasty or bypass surgery to improve distal vascularity prevention control of diabetes mellitus by diet discipline and drug care of the foot and the foot should be kept dry warm and clean and never walk barefooted any injury has to be avoided MCR footwears must be used and hyperkeratosis has to be avoided and regular follow up and control of diabetes mellitus is mandatory end of the topic